Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. <laughs> So today I thought I would bring you along with me on my commute. Um, I'm going to walk you through what I do when I wake up in the morning all the way to what I do when I get to my crash pad. And me personally, because I do double commute, I actually come in the day before just in case whenever I'm on reserve. So today, or this month actually, I have a reserve month, so I won't find out what my trip is going to be until the night before. So I just go ahead and commute in the night before. That way, if anything goes wrong, especially because the weather gets so crazy, I'm already in base I'm already prepared for it okay so I'm not at my house right now I'm actually at auntie's house or which I mean this is my house this is my childhood house um, but yeah I usually get princess parking if you don't know what princess parking is it's basically whenever someone comes and picks you up curbside from the airport and then drops you off it's not um, it's not like you're leaving your car in the employee lot. So a lot of times I do get that um, just because I haven't actually gone to my manager and gotten a parking pass for my airport. And she really likes coming and picking me up from the airport. And I love that too. It's just nice. Um, so because, you know, she doesn't have to work and everything, she can come get me usually. But it's just like become our routine and everything. And I really like it. Plus, I love spending time with her. So it's fun. So fun fact, I actually double commute. I know, I'm crazy. I went from commuting one leg and it being a struggle to double commuting and it's been a breeze. But I actually usually just wake up and check the flight in the morning to make sure it's not delayed, not canceled, or anything like that because I do have two legs. And I'm going through Charlotte today. Sometimes I go through Charlotte, sometimes I go through Dallas whenever I'm um, going back to D.C. And I just make sure, you know, what gate it is. Because it's a smaller airport that I leave out of, it's a regional, um, it's not as, like, tricky as far as that first leg getting to base, and then I can usually always get the jump seat if something crazy happens once I'm in base. But yeah, the flight's on time. Uh, let's see, it's going to be a Canada Air Regional Jet 700. There are six seats open in first class. I'm the only person on the standby list, so easy commute today. Sit. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning. Good morning to all. Thank you. you. I'll put it in my bag. I was about to iron it. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't need it. So one of the nicest things about being home is that Auntie always washes my uniforms and irons them for me. Hey, good morning. That's just Benjamin coughing in the background. Um, but I've worn a uniform my whole life, so literally this is like habitual for us, I guess, since I was K-4. Um, I went to a, a private Christian school, and I said we always had a uniform, middle school, high school. My first job where I didn't wear a uniform, and I actually got to decide what I wanted to wear to work. Benjamin, what is it? You just want me to hug you? Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah, you did? <laughs> but yeah, my first job where I actually didn't have to wear a uniform, it was kind of overwhelming for me. Even when I worked at State Farm and I kind of just switched up my like pants or skirt suit. I was like, wow, I get to choose what I want to work, what I want to wear to work every day. This is wild. But yeah, back to uniform. So that's what she was talking about when she had my scarf. Uh, she was going to iron it for me. So I'm going to just pack really quickly. Oh, I actually need to open up my new vlog camera. So this is going to be the last second to last clip on this one and then I'm switching back to G7X so I'll show you guys that right now. Okay so just to show the dedication I'm doing this at my desk I did not purchase all these at the same time this was like my very very first vlog camera ever that Christopher got me and then this is the one that's going to be have, have to be sent to the manufacturer right now to get repaired that I broke and then this is the one I'm about to unbox so this is the current camera that I'll be using and yes these are the same and then I'm going to use the one I'm recording this on right now as a backup yes. So I've actually tested out 
quite a few cameras and my preferred vlogging camera is the Canon G7X Mark II. This has been the best one I've ever used as far as the quality, as far as um, it being easy to go in my bag and easy to vlog with and pull out. This is definitely a winner. So if you're looking for an investment, a really good quality camera, I am a Canon person. I know some people think Sony or Nikon have better ones, but I just find like their customer service as well as like their website and if you ever have to like send stuff back to them. I just find them the easiest to deal with so this is my vlog camera of choice for flight attendant vloggers. Hey. Hey are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me open my camera? Okay so this is the box. Okay so I actually need to let the battery completely charge so I haven't switched over yet. I'm still using my EOS camera but today's gonna be the first day where I attempt to just like vlog on the plane as well as the in the airport on my commute so we'll see how that goes but um, auntie's about to just like go around the edges of my hair to make it look more presentable because I know you guys saw earlier that little piece that like <laughs> sticks out on its own. I'm gonna pack really quickly. I don't need to bring that much because I have stuff at my crash pad so I really just needed my uniform washed and some new pajamas and underwear um so yeah i'm gonna pack everything up really quick so we're ready but i have plenty of time today so no need to rush there's not really anything that i need to do at home so i might just do like a blog post for next week and yeah that's pretty much it so I'm getting ready to switch cameras for my commute so say bye to the eos and hello to my brand new g7x yeah oh this feels so right so right it's so light. I feel like I can jump around and vlog. And I did put a little attachment on this one because there have been times where I've dropped this camera. Well, my old one. And I'm pr I promise I'm going to take better care of this one. But yeah, I'm all dressed. Right, Daisy girl? Yeah. Mom's all ready for work and I'm about to head to the airport. Ugh. It's so weird to be back vlogging. I have to get used to like pulling out the camera and remembering to do this stuff. But I have my bag. I've got my lunchbox and my tote bag and my rollerboard taking all three today because I am just going to bring my lunch on my next trip and then we're actually babysitting our neighbor's kid so I probably won't vlog in the car because I know like there's all these rules now whenever you have a kid in the vlog and obviously his neighbors would like sign off but I'm not going to get a form and fill all that out that's not necessary so anyway I'm going to head it to the car and I'm about to put my bags in and um, we're headed to the airport, all three of us. We got a little visitor today, and his car seat is in my car. I'm like, what is that doing in my car? But he's got a, his dad has a camouflage car seat. Okay, Louisiana props. Okay, so I'm at the airport. I'm about to go through security. Obviously, with everything that's going on with the TSA and all of that, it has been crazy in some airports, but I'm not going to feel myself going through security either. So I'm going to do that really quickly, then get back with you guys once I'm on the other side. Hey guys, I'm like a here. This is very loud. Maybe we should go as we do plan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll probably still feel very <laughs> say DC. I'm currently in Charlotte and I'm about to head to DC and I was in um, like this little bookstore and I saw this. So I was like, I have to read that. And the lady was like, oh, if you keep your receipt, you can return it for 50% off of the book and then get you a new book. So um, on the back, I was like, oh, this sounds perfect. It says Cassandra Bowden is no stranger to hungover mornings. A cons um, a party girl, her job as a flight attendant makes it easy to adventure with no strings attached. And the occasional blackout means she doesn't always have to remember the mistakes she's made. So I just thought that this sounded like really good. I'll actually show the back really quick if anyone's interested in it. Okay, so that's the front. And then this is the back if anyone wants to like pause it and then read that. So 
I'm at the gate right now. I'm like tucked behind the gate agent. She said that there's a possibility I might have to take the jump seat. So um, I'm on my commute home. It was so nice on my last leg to run into her because I feel like we were like chatting about all this stuff for the new year and all the plans we have and everything we have to do as vloggers. So make sure you guys to check out her channel because she was so sweet. And like also she commutes from the same city I do so maybe we can like hang out and like whatever because she gets it and it's getting really loud. Hold on, sorry, it's really loud. So I'm on the second leg of my commute and I'm going from Charlotte to DC and then they actually went ahead and assigned me standby for tomorrow at 5 15 a.m. I'd much rather be going on the New Orleans flight. Unfortunately, I am going to DC. So um, I've done the first leg or whatever to get into Charlotte and then have to go Charlotte to DC. I think they're in like group five or six right now. So I'm just like waiting by the boarding door to wait to get on my flight. Communication neighborhood bins are full. We'll be checking our roller boards from this point forward. Thank you. Comment, be careful, a sign that may have shifted in the flight. Let now use your cell phones. We will be. because I had to carry my bags. The escalator was broken on the, um, like getting into the metro, so I ended up having to go up the stairs. So I'm on the metro right now, about to head to my crash pad, and then I was assigned 515 standby for tomorrow. Um, so, it's I'm walking home. Normally I can take the way underground completely to where I don't have to come out in the cold, but it's actually not that bad, so I figured I would make the walk. But I'm headed to my crash pad, so I'm gonna put up the camera right now until I get inside. So some of my roommates that don't know that I vlog that are not flight attendants because we actually do have a mixed crash pad. Um, as, and when I say mixed, I mean like there's a lawyer in our crash pad, there's people from the ramp, there's one pilot, there are agents. So I didn't want to like vlog and pull out the camera around people that don't know I have YouTube. So sorry if it's echoey a little bit. I am in a stairwell right now. I actually might go in the hallway. So it won't be so echoey. Or the lighting's not bad here. Actually, this lighting is fantastic. So I'll just end the vlog here. Um, I made it back to DC on time. I am double commuting and they did assign me 5.15 a.m. standby while I was on my commute. So once I landed in Charlotte, I knew my assignment for today. Um, so tomorrow morning, I head to the airport. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and then I'll pick back up with a new one uh, once I actually go to the airport. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I did decide not to do a Q&A just because people didn't really leave questions on my last one. So I'm just gonna continue vlogging back to normal and bring you guys with me as much as I can. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. If you guys did have any questions about this commute process though, or like what I did anywhere through it, just leave those down below. All right, bye.